Event-driven programming is a programming paradigm where the flow of the program is determined by events. These events can be anything from user actions, sensor outputs, or messages from other programs or threads. It has gained popularity in recent years due to the rise of certain technologies that depend on real-time data processing or because of the growth in systems that require asynchronous operations like web applications that handle many users or tasks at once. Imagine a DJ at a party, the event-driven program, who plays Play songs based on the crowd's requests events. The DJ doesn't have a preset playlist to play in order, but chooses the next song based on what the attendees ask for or the vibe. Similarly, an event-driven program is designed to react, sitting on a loop waiting for the next request or trigger to decide what to do next. EDP's characteristics of responsiveness, modularity, scalability, decoupling, and efficiency make it a powerful choice for developing modern cloud-native applications. It also reflects the increasing demand for these characteristics in the software industry. Let's go over a simple example of event-driven programming in Python using the tkinter library, which is used for building graphical interfaces. We'll create a basic window with a single button. When the button is clicked, the event, it triggers a function that prints a message to the console, the event handler. First, to find the function on button click, which is our event handler that gets called when the button is clicked. We'll create a main window root and then create a button widget to tell us to use the on button click function as the event handler for the click event using the command parameter. Then place the button on the main window using pack. Finally, we start the GUI event loop with the root main loop. This loop waits for events like button clicks and dispatches them to event handlers. The program's flow is determined by the user's interaction with the GUI. 